And your approach, Pat, is so unique in terms of how you do sales copy, in terms of how you disclose to people what you're doing. How do you think about that? How do you get involved with sales without feeling like you're selling your soul? Great question. And I, th I know this is something a lot of people struggle with, especially because most of the examples we see online are for people who are doing it the opposite of what we're about to talk about, um, who are hypey. And I, and, and I want to talk about really quick the difference between hype and buzz. You want Good. buzz because buzz is other people talking about you for you. Hype is you talking about yourself for you to try and make yourself look better than you might actually be. So I love the word, I love the buzz word. I hate hype. And, and that's what helps me and drives me to, to do things in this way that I'm about to share. So, I mean, I'll, I'll just go over affiliate marketing really quick because I think it's Good. the- um, Please do. Probably the one that, that most people struggle with. And also, it's, it's, it, it is an easy way to monetize. You can monetize today by affiliate marketing. But again, you gotta do these things correctly. And I think you know, any type of marketing or anything that you're gonna sell, it doesn't start with the product. It starts with the relationship that you have with your audience and doing what you can to show that you're a real person, that you're personable, that um, that you are somebody that they can trust. And that happens in several different ways. It happens by actually having conversations with people. It, ha it happens by showing people a little bit more about your life than what's just on the web. And it, it, show it, it also involves, you know, understanding the problems of the people who are, who are um, you know, viewing you as well. And, and so, you know, just I treat it like I, I treat my readers like I would treat my friends. And I think that's a really important uh, way to think about mm -hmm. things because I, it, it just guides me. And if, if I'm potentially going to do something or sell something that my friends wouldn't be okay with, then I'm not going to do that for my audience as well. Um, so important really principle. working on building that relationship and that trust with your audience. That's the most important thing. Nothing, nothing can happen. No transactions whatsoever. And I'm not even talking about money. I'm talking about clicking on links or subscribing to your email list. None of that will happen unless people could trust you and, 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 and of course sharing information for free, just showing uh, that, that you're there to help um, in, in, a, in a really honest way is, is, is a great way to approach it. Um, beyond that then it's, you know, you want to find the right products, but again, like we talked about earlier, it, it, it starts with the end goal of your audience. So I'm not going to touch on this too much because we already just kind of mm -hmm. slammed it on the, on its head, but you got to know what people are going for so you can give them the tools, the steps, the information, software, the advice they need to help them get there. If you don't know where they're going, then how do you know where to direct them? How do you know what products to sell to them? And really keeping in mind that these are products that you want to have experience with as well. And what I love about this strategy, whether it's a product of your own or a product of somebody else's that you're selling, I love to share everything I can about it. I'm, I think I'm one of the only people, at least in my space, who will promote somebody else's product by creating a sales video not a sales video, but a video about that product that's better than the actual video that's on that site. Um, Clay Collins, uh, I, I, I promoted recently a, a product from Clay Collins called Lead Player, which is a, um, a video player uh, that helps capture leads. So you can actually collect opt-ins right there in, 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 the, in, in the video. Well, he came to me after I shared a video about how I use this and why it's beneficial to my audience. He came to me and said, Pat, your video is way better than our video. I, I'm thinking of taking your video and putting it on our site because it's just that good uh, and it shares that much more information. So the reason I do that is because I'm, I, I'm doing what's called unboxing the mystery. If there's some sort of mystery or something that people aren't sure about, they're not gonna buy. So you wanna just reveal everything as much as you can. Not not just like a review on, 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 on what's good, but everything, what's bad. And that also gives you opportunities to include bonuses or other things beyond what they get to show that you know you understand this product and you're there to fill in the holes and you're gonna be there for support and, 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 and things like that. So sharing my experience and also showing my experience with these products is really helpful. One of my most popular videos when talking about domain and hosting is one that walks people through exactly yep. how to do that and what to look out for and what would help them and, and sort of the steps to take. And uh, that video has been viewed 70,000 times and I'm sure it's has led to a lot of those affiliate sales that we talked about earlier. Then of course, talking about proof showing why those mm. products are gonna help and how they've helped you. If they've helped you and other people that you've shared that with, then a lot of people are gonna be more, you know, they're gonna get off the fence and be like, okay, well, I'll give it a shot. Um, there's nothing like tangible, like real proof that you can see mm -hmm. or feel or, or, or look at. And, and I love to tell the story about um, Joe Cross, who is a uh, man who from Australia who created a documentary called Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. I love that, and yeah. It's, it's about um, this guy who was way overweight. He had uh, like these chronic skin diseases and, and was just really unhappy with his life because he was, eat, he was not eating very well. Well, he did something drastic. He, he flew to the U.S. from Australia and went on a tour and just drank 
juice, like blended juice for 60 mm -hmm. days. And by the end of it, I mean, you saw the change. The transformation. It was an absolute transformation, yep. not just physically, but 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 he was smiling more. He was so much more happy. He had more focus and was just more energetic. And I will tell you, it wasn't a half hour after watching that documentary that I had a receipt for a Breville juicer in my email inbox from Amazon.com. Like I did the I same swear. thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just bought that thing. And so if he had an affiliate link, uh, you know, if there was a special link and he said, you know what, here's an affiliate link, we will, you will help to support the film if you go through this link and buy a Breville Juice, you're the same one you saw in this movie. I would have totally gone and done that. Totally. I recommend that he do that if you're watching this, Joe. I don't know if you would, but, um, you know, that's how you do it. And then the final thing is the pitch. And there has to be some sort of pitch. The thing is, if your relationship is strong, if you do all these other things, you, you share the right products and you recommend them, if, if you show your experience with it, if you show the proof, then the pitch is just a little tiny, you, there's hardly any pitch at all. But you still obviously have to share uh, an affiliate link, but um, mm -hmm. I feel like the less of a relationship you have with your audience, the more pitch is needed. And that's yep. when these people who you maybe subscribe to it sometimes, they, they don't know who you are, which is why they bring out all the big guns and, and, and spend tons of money on copywriting because they're trying really hard to sell you. Well, you don't have to sell to someone you have a relationship with. So it's kind um, of a soft sell in a sense. I don't know if that word... Yeah. Hey everyone, this is Megan Hyatt Miller, Dean of Platform University, here to give you a sneak peek of what you can expect this month inside the membership. In our masterclass, Michael speaks with Pat Flynn about discovering the freedom and potential of passive income. In our Backstage Pass segment, Michael's team gives a behind the scenes look at what to expect while on the road and during speaking events. So you give them the writer ahead of time and remember this, always have them the initial, uh, when they're signing that initial contract, not only signing the contract, but on the writer for each line that you're requesting. For example, uh, we request that he has uh, a proper sound and it has to be high quality sound. I have them initial that line right there. So I know they've read it. And if when they say, well, we didn't know you needed a spotlight, I can pull out the contract and simply say, you actually put your initials right here beside the spotlight request. In our member makeover, we will be taking a look at another Platform University member site and providing our top 10 recommendations for taking their platform to the next level. And remember to check out the live Q&A with Michael that will be happening at the end of the month. You can look forward to seeing all this great content, plus so much more happening this month at platformuniversity.com.